uh, you can get the
We have uh, Mufti Rabani come up here and uh, start the program for the citation of the program. Four food stations after uh, Bavarin. 
So when you finish your Maghrib Salah, please come and get your food as quickly as possible so that we can get into the fundraising and uh, get the, uh, the uh, keynote speaker, Brother uh, Abdullah Wahid, up here and we can all benefit from his knowledge. There is a calligraphy uh, artist in the back. He's not here. Or he's, he's not. He's, he disappeared. But he'll be back. He does very good work. You can see some samples of his work here and also on the side of, of, of the stage. These large works, uh, I think they're going to be auctioned. We'll take care of that during the, uh, the fundraising. In the back, when he's sitting there, if you would like, he can do some personalized calligraphy. You can go back and ask him. I know that um, he is doing like people's names. So make sure you talk to him about all of that, inshallah. There's free babysitting in the basement. For those of you who have small children, they have some pizza down there for them too. So any kids who are in here who want to grab a slice of pizza, just head down to the basement. You will also see on the tables there are water bottles. Those are complimentary. Uh, give our thanks for your attendance. Um, make sure you take uh, one and, and at home and uh, remember IGD and tonight and shop. So without further ado, I'm going to ask the President, uh, Brother Mujib Bhatti, to come up so that he can go ahead and get us started. Thank you. Dr. Suman Master, 
Chair of the Board of Trustees, Sony.
complete this final hurdle. It's a steep one. And it seems to be getting steeper, right? But inshallah, you've come so far. I have full confidence in knowing you over these past 30 odd years that you will certainly accomplish this last point. Inshallah, Ameen. Assalamu alaikum. Allah. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Thank you for those kind and inspiring words. So, uh, at this point, we have a little bit of time before the Azan is called. So, um, we'll go ahead and let you guys uh, make some du'as. As you know, this is one of the most important times to make your du'as. Please make du'a for our community, uh, the success of uh, tonight, and also for everybody who's here uh, and who's not here, who have passed away. Remember everyone in Shambha. Just a quick reminder, when you finish your Maghrib Salah, please come back quickly so that we can get the food and everyone can sit down and, and uh, enjoy it prior to uh, Sheikh Abdullah Wahid's uh, address. Um, also, when you're entering and exiting the hall, Please remember that there are a lot of wires that are taped down. So you need to just be mindful of that so that you don't trip any of the wires. Um, and then uh, hopefully, uh, once you come back and you settle down and have your dinner, we will be able to have Sheikh Abdullah Wahid get up and speak. Um,
good? Okay, so I don't know what we're going to I'm not going to waste uh, any of our precious time going into a long introduction of our keynote speaker. Um, everybody here, I'm sure, is aware of him and his work. And if you're not, you're going to get introduced to it tonight. So without further ado, are you ready? Are you, you, you ready? All right. He's, he says he's ready. So without further ado, I'm going to ask the Sheikh Abdullah Wahid to come up and go ahead and, and give his speech, his keynote address. I would again ask that everybody give him the respect that he is due. Please, please keep silent. Try and listen. You will learn something tonight, inshallah, that will help you in this life and the next. So please, again, everybody, keep the, keep the conversations to a minimum, and let's try and... Um, learn something from Sheikh Abdullah Wahid. So I'm going to ask Sheikh to come on up. We'll get started, inshallah. Oh, thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa la aqibatu al-muttaqeen wa jannatu al-muwahidin. Wa la udwana illa ala al-zalimeen. Wa salatu wa salam ala sayyidin al-nam wa khatim al-nabiyin. وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال الله سبحانه وتعالى في كتاب العزيز بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رجال صدقوا ما عاهدوا الله عليه فمنهم من قضى نحبه ومنهم من ينتظر وما بدلوا تبديلا وقال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم الناس معادل كمعادل الذهب والفضة خيار في الجاهلية خيار في الإسلام لفظ أو كما قال عليه الصلاة والسلام Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My respected brothers, sisters, elders, scholars, and students, tonight I will talk a few minutes before our fundraiser about redemption. And the month of Ramadan is a month where we are hope to redeem ourselves. We're able to collect our cluster, our challenges, and turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And I will give one human's example. If you guys all listen and pay attention, we will all learn something and we'll collect a lot of money. So I'll wait for another few seconds. There was this man whose name is Suhail bin Amr. He was an open and extreme enemy of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam fought Quraysh and Badr, he was one of the captives who was brought to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He fought against the Prophet with the intent to kill the Prophet. Now he's a prisoner and he's brought by Umar bin Khattab. Anyone that knows Umar bin Khattab already knows his demeanor. If you don't have any exposure to Umar bin Khattab's demeanor, this is one example. Umar bin Khattab عنه, brings this man. He says, Ya Rasulullah, give me permission to punch this man in the face. Punch him in the face, break his teeth, so he never uses his expression, his articulation, his eloquence to speak against you again. The Prophet ﷺ said, no. Da'hu. A time will come where Allah will make him stand in a position where it will impress you. So spare him. Don't, don't punch him in the face. This is the same individual when the Prophet ﷺ came for Hudaybiyah. And the Prophet saw him coming. He said, amrakum. He said, looks like your matter is going to become easy in the negotiation of the treaty. We're not going to go into the whole Sira story, but I want to say three things about this experience. Number one, as the treaty was being written down, the Prophet ﷺ said, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Suhail, who's a non Muslim, he says, We know God, we know Allah, we don't know Rahman. So erase Ar Rahman next to Allah's name. That was how adamant he was. So the Prophet ﷺ writes, Bismikallahumma. We begin in the name of Allah. Then 
هذا ما قضى محمد رسول الله واهل مكه this is the the treaty between muhammad rasulullah what the people of Mecca Quraysh. The man speaks up again. He says, oh Muhammad, we have an issue here. It says, Muhammad Rasulullah, we don't believe you as a messenger. If we believed you as a prophet, we would never fought against you. We would never oppose you. Remove Rasulullah next to Muhammad. The Prophet ﷺ has that removed. Then his son, who becomes Muslim, falls down next to the Prophet Sallallahu Abu Jundal. And he says, Oh Prophet of Allah, the first challenge of the treaty is that you send my son back to Mecca and what happens after his history, he'll be tortured. This man was this adamant against every single option of leverage for Islam. A time comes, few years later after her day, two years later, the Prophet Sallallahu conquers Mecca. Now the Prophet is a conqueror. He prays around the Kaaba. The idols are demolished. He goes inside the Kaaba. He comes, he comes out from the Kaaba and he grabs the two panels at the door of the Kaaba. He holds them like this. And he says, what do you think, O people of Mecca, what do you think I'm going to do with you today? You were the people that exiled him. You killed his relatives. You killed Hamza. You expelled his companions and his members. Years of torture, almost 19, 20 years of torture and oppression against Muhammad and his community, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet says, what do you think I'm going to do today? Look who speaks up. Two years later, Suhail ibn Amr. He says, Anta akhun kareem. You are a noble person and you are a son of a noble person. You are a brother that's respectful. We only believe that you can only treat us nicely and forgive us. Then the Prophet ﷺ said, Yusuf, I will say what my brother Yusuf said. You are forgiven. Two years later, the Prophet Sallallahu comes for Hajjat al wadah two years later. And Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu says, I am witnessing a person grabbing the camels that are going to be sacrificed. And that person who's holding the camels is a Muslim now, and his name is Suhail ibn Amr, and he's at the service of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Then Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu says, I was witnessing this man as the Prophet ﷺ was shaving his hair after Hajj, this man He said, I can remember and see vividly, this man is collecting the hair of the Prophet as it's falling down to the earth, picking it up and putting it on his face. Someone who extremely hated the Prophet now is giving so much reverence to the Prophet. It doesn't end here. Two months later, the Prophet ﷺ gets sick and he's on his deathbed. And we all know the final moments of the Prophet's life. Fatima radiallahu anha says, I was sitting next to my father, Muhammad Rasulullah And I said to him, How much pain is my father going through? She could see the sweat. She could see the chills on her beloved father. She said, oh, my father, you're going through extreme pain. This was the final moment. And then the father says, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Laysa ala abi al-yawm. Your father is never going to see any more pain. And then she starts to cry. And then she says, Ya abatahu ajab rabban da'ahu. Ya abatahu jannatul firdawsi ma'wahu. Oh my beloved father, Allah has accepted your choice. Allahumma bil rafiq al which is to elevate to the heavens. We all know what happens next. The community witnesses the greatest man in the world leave the world. And when this happens, it's very unique because the Prophet's best friend, who is the Prophet's best friend? Prophet's best friend? 
Louder, please. Louder. Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu is out of town. He hears the news. He rushes back to Medina. And the entire Medina is erupting in shock. Shock is, these are the emotional stages of trauma. Shock, denial, then there's acceptance. Everyone's in shock and denial. Umar bin Khattab, the strong, brave human where the devil will dare walk in front of. He says, anyone that says Muhammad has been slain or killed or has died, I will fight them and kill them. He's alive, he'll be back. Abu Bakr anhu comes to the Prophet's house. He removes the sheet from the Prophet's face and he kisses the Prophet. And he says, he kisses him between his eyes. He says, Tibta hayyan wa tibta mayyitan. O Prophet of Allah, you look beautiful when you were alive and you look equally beautiful resting. Then he gets up and he says, Umar, have a seat, have a seat. Umar doesn't move. He's ignoring every single statement of Abu Bakr. Then Abu Bakr anhu, stands a few yards away, starts his speech, gathers a crowd, and he says, وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدَ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ الرُّسُلُ Remember, messengers have came before, and your prophet is also a messenger. If he dies or he's martyred, are you going to fall back on your heels? وَمَنْ كَانَ يَعْبُدُ مُحَمَّدٌ Remember and know whoever worships God, God is everlasting and Muhammad وسلم, is a human. He will leave this world. If Mecca was in tears, less, if Medina was in tears and everyone was crying, brothers and sisters, this is where I want to talk about redemption. Every human, it doesn't matter how far they come from, how many sins they have done, what they have done in life, you all and all of us have a chance to redeem ourselves. Everyone has a role to play in their life. Doesn't matter their sins, their mistakes, the evil, you have a great responsibility. This man, Suhail ibn Amr, I, I can't speak when there's so many people speaking. I know it's a great moment after COVID, everyone's getting together and we want to meet each other. So I don't blame brothers and sisters. I would be talking if I was sitting in your spot too. But if we could just give a few minutes, we're almost done. This is the highlight of the story. Brothers and sisters, a lot of times people feel like I live life and I make mistakes. Is there any form of redemption? Is there something I can do to make up my past? Of course there is. The Prophet I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk around because I don't think everyone's gonna stay quiet. The Prophet ﷺ, he's walking outside his house and he sees no one in front of him and walks in the park. But this is Abu Dhar, they finally notice the Prophet walking alone. So he says, let me follow him. Hopefully he doesn't notice me, but I can be around him. The Prophet walks two steps, notices someone walking behind, says, who? This is Abu Dhar. The Prophet says, come here. He comes. Then he gives him some advice. Then he says, sit down. Don't move, I'll be back. So the Prophet وسلم, walks away. Abu Dhar is sitting in his place. While half an hour, 45 minutes, a long time goes by. And Abu Dhar hears the Prophet in the dark saying something very strange. As if he's talking to someone. This is what he says. Wa in sana wa in even if he did adultery and stole. And then there's silence. Then the Prophet says, Wa in sana, wa in salah. Even if they make a crime, they only catch in adultery and they steal. This happened multiple times. The Prophet walks, comes back to Abu Dhab, and Abu Dhab says, Ya Rasulullah, everything about this was strange. You walk in the dark, you make any sin here, you walk away, you're walking back towards me, you're talking to someone. We don't know who you're talking to. And the things that you're saying are extremely awkward. You're saying adultery and stealing even. What's going on? The Prophet Sallallahu says, Jibreel came to me. And Jibreel said to me, tell your ummah. Brothers and sisters, listen to this. This is the Muslim. Tell your followers. Anyone that 
it dies without associating any partners, without believing in any other partners besides, without believing in other, any other God besides Allah. His oneness, like we all do, can be all together one time. Say, La ilaha illallah. Muhammadun Rasulullah. Brothers and sisters, you said it very lightly on a heavy stomach. This is very powerful. This is very powerful. Jibreel says to the Prophet Sallallahu whoever believes this will, not, will go to Jannah inevitably. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi was so shocked. He said to Jibreel, how about if he did adultery? Jibreel says, even if he did adultery, even if he stole. Now the Prophet is relating the story to Abu Dhar. Abu Dhar has a hard time understanding this concept that God is this merciful. You can redeem yourself. It doesn't matter what sin a person may have committed in their life. This is the month of Ramadan. You are sitting here, and behind you is one of the most beautiful and the, one, of the, one of the largest masjid that's going to be constructed in the United States of America. Give yourself a round of applause, guys. MashaAllah. وَلَوْ شَاءَ رَبُّكَ أَنْ تُسْلَى جَهَنَّمَ خَالِدًا مَا كَانَ أَلْهَمَ قَدْمَكَ التَّوْحِيدًا Imam Shafiq says, if God wanted to toss us into hell, He would have never given us this privilege. We fasted, we prayed, we donated. There's a greater cause. Even the money that you give tonight. Think about the wrong that we have done. And hopefully this will expand all of our sins. Think about our parents that have left us. This can elevate your status. The Prophet ﷺ explains this to Abu Dhab. Abu Dhab, listen, whether you like it or not, if a person dies with La ilaha illallah, in the did zina, in the soul, God will give them jannah. ala rahmi and fi Abu Dhab. It doesn't matter if you like it or not. So brothers and sisters, let's finish the story. When the Prophet ﷺ passed away, Makkah, لَمَا سَمِعَ when Makkah heard about the demise of the Prophet, it erupted. I don't know if you guys have heard trauma. You guys are older people, you guys probably heard news and accidents. Brothers and sisters, if one person dies in our community, and he has two sons and two daughters, so four children cry for one mother or one father. But when the Prophet died, he was a father to the nation. The whole community cried like a father had passed away. That's the emotions you have to understand. They started crying. The governor of Mecca was Atab al Hussein. He was the governor. He, he said, Ma al -kalam ba I cannot say a word after the Prophet has left. He cried and he was speechless. He goes to none other, the same human that could not tolerate Rasul, Allah Naksul Muhammad. He goes to him, Suhail, you have to speak to him. Suhail, Suhail bin Amr stands up. He has no idea what Abu Bakr said in Medina. Brothers and sisters, he stands up and he gives the exact speech he quotes the exact ayah that Abu Bakr quoted in Medina to comfort the people of Medina in the entire Makkah was comforted and giving counseling and condolence. And that was the moment that the Prophet said to Umar, don't break his teeth. Let me say this again. That is the moment. Don't shun someone. Don't isolate someone from an opportunity. Don't say, this person has no good in the future. There is a future. Punching this man's teeth will not benefit the future. Don't alienate people. This cancel culture that's in our society. One person makes a mistake, the whole society cancels them. Learn to understand that each one of us can in tonight, in these months of Ramadan, these Days and nights are here to redeem ourselves. 
Brothers and sisters, I don't know anyone here that refused to say Rasulullah next to Muhammad. I don't know anyone here that refused to say Ar-Rahman next to Allah. Everyone here says Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. And everyone here says Allahumma salli ala Muhammad. You are already on the straight path. We just have to shift the clutch in the gear and run this M4 competition off the track to let the world know that we can redeem ourselves. So brothers and sisters tonight, as we fundraise, and I have been joining you guys for the past four years, throughout COVID, virtually on site, I was here in December yelling at you guys, making some jokes. See, today, they can like it. I don't have the same jokes. Why? I'm feeling like a hole in the middle of that. But if somebody does some badmashi, I'll make a joke. Okay? But today is the night, we'll make some jokes or talk. But really, brothers and sisters, we're so lucky to be here tonight to support a masjid that's in our backyard. And we are starting off this fundraiser. Are you guys excited? Can I get a yes, please? Yeah. That's not loud enough. One more time. Yeah. One more time. Yeah. So when I ask you for money, you should be equally excited. And to that. So there's this convert in my community. Behind me, I have all these Arabs and this is. So when I say, everybody says, uh, so I have this guy, Mike, who converted to Islam a few years ago. He goes, Amen. And I think I'm in church. He's so excited. He hears Bali, Ami. We're all excited. So, brothers and sisters, we, our goal is 1.5 million. The a brother came up to me and Dr. Master. He said, I want to put 1 million. He said, I want to put 1 million. I said, absolutely not. 1.5. Inshallah. Do you want to make it two? If you say, I'm not one, but. All right, well, let's, let's, let's say 1.5 and we'll auction some of your clothing. And everybody's clothing here will auction. I want to make money. Everyone's clothing. Okay. Let's do this, brothers and sisters. You guys, I'm going to read some checks and some pledges that I have. I have a check that is in my hand. MashaAllah. So we're going to start off with this big check. It's a small check. But when this check lands on the scales of the day of judgment, it's going to be very heavy in trouble. It's pink. So it might be his wife's checkbook. But it's, it's for breast cancer awareness that's his. Beautiful. Ya Allah to all of us sake. There's some sisters in our communities who are suffering. Ya Allah give them And everyone that is sick. We're starting out, brothers and sisters. I'm very excited. Honestly, I wore my shamani today. Someone said, why? I said, to let the Hyderabadis know what we can do. We have some shamani. No? And that's one. Number two, it's been six months I couldn't fit into this day. And one week, I'm looking quick. I don't know how it's going to last, so enjoy it while it does. So here we are, brothers and sisters. This check here already, ready for deposit. Half a million dollars. The three, run of applause. Run of applause, guys, you know. Clap. Clap. Let's do the three of these three times. So all the FBI is here get excited. Should we share the name? He said not to share the name. Do I care? No. Dr. Masood Imran. MashaAllah, he gave half a million dollars. One more one applause for him. MashaAllah. May Allah bless him. May Allah give him help. He's not feeling well, he's not here today. But he's saying to us, you know what he's saying? This is what he's saying. I don't know him like you guys. This is what he, I think he's saying. 
He's saying, I live my life. What is he saying? Let me tell you what this check is saying. Please pay attention. This check and the donor are saying, I think I live my life. But I have still something to contribute. I want to show Allah, before I leave this world, that this masjid is ready to go. And I'm sure he gave this check with tears. And Dr. Master, give this check to me with tears. He's always crying. May Allah give him the highest of those. So, I mean, all the tears that he has, may Allah make them tears in Jannah. The more a person cries in this world, the more they will laugh in Jannah. May Allah bless you, Dr. Master. Dr. Master says, Shaykh Sahib, you have to come. And he says, no. Then he starts crying, I have to come. MashaAllah, I love you. So, MashaAllah, may Allah give this person health, his family, barakah, family wealth, children, grandchildren, make them the foolish his eyes. Give this person his family, his children, the community. Jannah to the laws, you let it accept. Say, Ali, MashaAllah. We have another brother. He's not a doctor. So, all those doctors that think they're the big donors, take it easy. <laughs> take it easy. This is brother, not doctor. He is giving our sister, you know, $250,000. Run up, boss, guys. This is what I'm saying, 1.5. 1.5 is easy. Take me. Take me. Take me. So, Pastor Sad said, don't say your name. He says, don't say your name. I'm going to copy his accent. But don't say your name. So, I, I said, are they here? He said, no. I said, no, 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 Enough where you can't write a check to two hundred fifty thousand dollars. May Allah bless him, Sami. May Allah go and his wealth, and his health, and his children, and his grandchildren, giving the best of this dunya and the best of for those. Full Amin, Amin. Except all the du'as, Amin. Brothers and sisters, I need one person to match half a million, and one person to match two hundred fifty thousand dollars. This fundraiser is over. It's over. We go. Smoke some sukta. Just joking, guys. Astaghfirullah. Ramadan. We go, relax, eat some fun, whatever, have some good time. Who here can match half a million dollars? Or two hundred fifty thousand dollars? Raise your hand. Brothers, please raise your hand. Match half a million or a quarter million? Raise your hand. Sisters, I see all the jewelry. I see all the money at the brands. You know, I see all the fancy brands. Brothers, I see you lost all your hair, making money. MashaAllah. So you, oh, this is the smart, you're making cash. MashaAllah. So, you're right. So, brothers, let's go. Who's going to give you? Uh, Dr. Malik. Uh, Dr. Malik, look at Dr. Malik. Today he's wearing a kopi. He's wearing a nice cap. Where's his son? No shame. Dad's wearing a nice cap. Dr. Saab, we need quarter million matches. Either half a million or quarter million. Either I'm going after you or I'm going after a few people here. Who do I go after? Dr. Saab. Quarter million or half a million? Don't put your head down. Anybody here? 200,000. 100,000. 200,000. Anybody raise your hand. We need the 100,000. May Allah bless you, say Ameen. You can do it. If we have one more person here, 200,000, 250,000, this fundraiser is almost done. Who else can do this before I bring the real fundraiser? Yeah, and that. when I bring the real fundraiser, by the way, they done. Game time and fun time is over. He's, are you from New Jersey? Dallas. Oh no, they come from Dallas. They come big. Texas. So he here, who is here going to give 100,000? 200,000, 300,000, raise your hand. This is the month of Ramadan. You make the pledge, inshallah, you can give it throughout the year. But we need the money to complete the construction 
You drive down this road, beautiful construction. Beautiful mustard. It just needs a few more million, you're almost done. Who will give 100,000, 200,000, sisters, brothers, anybody here? Come on. This is a generous community. Brothers, this person, these two people, gave you a check before he even did it. So my coming was useless for these two guys. I came here. I gave up my karawi in Flint. Where I leave. I gave up my Iftar program tonight to be with you. You have to give me $100,000. 100000 maybe two people give fifty. Husband and wife, brother and brother, sister and sister, family, one family, one family, two families, two neighbors. $200,000. Bismillah. Everybody that's helping each other by saying that be very loud. That be. That be. So I hear some people who are giving pledges. If you get more pledges, Dr. Master, let's invite our guest fundraiser from Dallas, Alan Salah. Please. Please come on. Give him a round of applause. There's no, I don't know how much, how much time I have, so yeah, we'll go inshallah, bismillah. Assalamu alaikum. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa wala. Just continuing what uh, brother, he said, mashallah, tonight it is so beautiful to start with uh, almost a million dollar. And this is subhanallah, a beautiful, beautiful thing to see that how are we into Ramadan and how much are we truly believing in the reward? Because that's how the Prophet وسلم, was. When he said, when Ibn Abbas said, Kana ajwad al -nas. he used to be the most generous person on earth. Ajwad ma yakun fi Ramadan. So I want to continue what the Shaykh said. If someone can start with a hundred thousand, inshallah, bi'idni ta'ala. And you can divide it by the way. You can divide it into whatever you want to divide it to. But at least, ya khwanna, as he said, the commitment. You know, people work all their life for themselves. People live for themselves and they die for themselves. And there are people who live for the community and they die for the community. So that's exactly what we want to see tonight, inshallah. If we have somebody that will give 100,000 at least, ya khwan, 100,000, inshallah. Let's do that, bidni ta'ala. Let's do that. Let's live for the akhirah, ya khwan. Wallahi, whatever money we can hold back is gonna, it's not going to help us. That's going to be against us, yawm al qiyamah. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, a man will shout, mali, mali. So we don't want that to do that, inshallah. Anyone who give, give me, ya khwan, 100,000, inshallah. Someone will say, I want to match at least half of that, part of that, inshallah. I want to be part of it, bidnihi ta'ala. Brothers and sisters, the believer has two goals in, their, in, in, in his life. One in this life and one for the hereafter. In this life, what we are doing actually today, when I was talking to the doctors and the brothers who started this, you know, paving the way for the community, he said, what? When, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us about them, he said, what? الَّذِينَ يُبَلِّغُونَ رِسَالَةِ اللَّهِ We are actually delivering the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not only building a masjid, but as the Shaykh said beautifully, he said, we are building an icon. That's exactly what we want to see, inshallah. Anyone for a hundred thousand, inshallah. Anyone. طيب. I want to see at least maybe two people. Do we have one? MashaAllah. Takbir! Okay. Let me tell you something that I have seen before. I don't know what's the secret about it. Okay, listen to this. Takbir! Listen to this. Nara Takbir! I don't understand. There's something about Nara Takbir. Okay. Zakallah khairan min dua for them. Allahumma amin mufiqan khalafan kulu amin. Lekhwanna. Amin is for free. I'm not going to charge you for that. Allahumma amin mufiqan khalafan kulu amin. Allahumma akhim fiqan khalafan qulu ameen. Ameen ya Rabbi al-alameen. Ameen ya Rabbi al-alameen. You know, I saw a bumper sticker. It says, when I stand in front of our, our, in front of Allah, 
I will say, Ya Allah, I have used all my talents for your sake. So if we die tonight, did we really use all our talents for his sake? Look, somebody say, I don't have a hundred thousand. I don't have a fifty thousand. I have maybe ten thousand, five thousand. Do we have the pitch cards? Do we have any pitch cards? Where are the pitch cards? Where are the, where are the brothers with the pitch cards? Sisters with the pitch cards. Give those pitch cards away. I want you to fill those out, inshallah, in ta'ala. You want it to fill out. Do not leave. You know why? Because as shaytanu ya'idukum al faqr Shaytan promised you poverty. If you don't give, don't give, don't give. And that's exactly why we're not, you know, fight the shaytan tonight, inshallah. So we don't change our mind when we go for the salah, inshallah. So can we see at least two people for 50,000, inshallah? Two people. Unless you have somebody for 100,000, inshallah. Do we have anybody for 50,000, inshallah? 50,000. Come forward, Ya Akhwana. Come forward. If you have it, say, I have it. The brothers, how many people of your community, and by the way, this is my first time being here, but you know better than me, how many of your community you have, you have buried in this community, have passed away? Mashallah, mashallah. 40, so that, no name? No name, inshallah. Uh, $40,000, takbir! Takbir! Then we have someone to match that, ya khwan. Someone to match that. In the musaddiqina wal musaddiqat wa akhradu allaha qardan hasana. This brothers and sisters, wallahi, you know, when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, qalu ma'adiratan ila rabbikum. The only thing we are doing this, so we can stand in front of Allah and say, ya Allah, this is our excuse. We are trying our best to establish the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because you have given us the permission for that, inshallah. So do we have anyone, anyone to match, inshallah? Mashallah, we have two checks for $30,000. Takbir! Takbir! That's almost for Someone can match that. Anyone can match that, ya khwana. Anyone will say, I want to give at least 50000 40000 inshallah. Mashallah, we have two checks. For fifty thousand dollars, that beer, that beer, that beer. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Brothers and sisters, we are just started Ramadan, and that's the beauty of the the, the, the beautiful month of Ramadan. That every night, every night, remember this. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam told us, "Inna lillahi utaqaun fi Ramadan, wa dalika fi kulli layla." Every night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will free people from hellfire. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be among those that would be, inshallah, that you would be among those that you would be freed from hellfire, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Say, Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Do we have anyone to match that 50,000 or 40,000 or 30,000? Anyone? Raise your hand, Ya Khwanda. Be brave tonight. Be brave tonight. Accept the challenge. That the brothers and sisters have started that subhanallah before. Do we have anyone? Yes. Anyone? One is 30, and the other one is 50. One is 30, 30, One is mashallah. We have mashallah. One for thirty thousand dollars. Takbir. Mashallah. And we have one for fifteen thousand dollars. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahumma akhlusan khalafan ya Rabbi Amin. Qulu Amin. Brothers and sisters, what is our value? Ask yourself tonight, what is our value? What is my value? How much do I worth in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tonight, tomorrow night? How much am I worth? Because what I'm worth is what we give the sadaqah. Yawm al-qiyamah, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us, al-mu'minu fi dhilli sadaqatihi yawm al-qiyamah. When you are in the shade of your sadaqah, how much shade do you want yawm al-qiyamah? So anyone, inshallah, to give like 50, 40, 30,000, something, ya khwana, raise your hand. Raise your hand. Say, I want to do it tonight, inshallah. I want to do it, bidnihi ta'ala. And people say, how do we know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is accepting from us? How do we know? Ibn Ahmad Muhammad radiallahu anhu was asked, he said, how do we know ma'alamatul qubul? How do we know that Allah is accepting from us? He said, fi'lul hasanati ba'd al hasana. When you're doing hasana after hasana, mashallah, we have another $20,000 check. Takbir! Takbir! 
اللهم اقوم من خلف يا رب العالمين قل امين امين يا رب العالمين امين يا رب العالمين ما شاء الله ما شاء الله ما شاء الله brothers and sisters this is how the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to be اجود ما يكون في رمضان he used to be most generous person in ramadan more more than the blowing wind اكبر من الريح المرسله that's how he was sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have anyone will match ya akhwana 20000 someone will match with the sisters in al mustaddiqin wal mustaddiqat wa aqrab allah qardan hasana this is how we want to do it, brothers and sisters this is inshallah anyone we have mashallah 10000 dollars takbir mashallah 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 jazakumullah khair barakallah fi yeah, three, five thousand, mashallah. That's fifty, fifteen thousand dollars, mashallah. Takbir, mashallah. We have five thousand, we have five thousand, we have five thousand. Ya khwana, wallahi, if every family tonight give five thousand dollars, we will have more than 2.5 million. We will have three million actually, I'm telling you right now. The sunnah to the end of Ramadan say, I want to give the five thousand for my family and behalf of my parents. On behalf of those that are my mom, my dad, Allahi Akwanda, those who have spent their time and efforts for you to be here tonight. They have done a lot of work to be here tonight. So you have to give them their behalf. Give them their behalf. Their mom, your mom, your dad, those who have given have given their time, their efforts to raise you to be what you are today, inshallah. So give that inshallah. We will make dua for you in ta'ala. Anyone, Ya Akwanda. Anyone? So the sisters of the community, especially the community. The sisters of the community, okay? So they raised ten thousand dollars. Okay. Mashallah, the sisters of the fundraising committee, they have raised ten thousand dollars. Give them a hand, give them a hand, give them a hand, Salah. Give them a hand. Thank Allah, hey sister. May Allah bless you. May Allah bless you. May Allah keep you. May Allah protect you, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Say Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Alameen. One more. They collected the gold or something. Okay. Anybody knows how much, how much the gold is? Allah knows. Allah knows. Is that your sister? Look, the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, by the way, in the eighth day, he went to the sister's side and he took Bilal with him. And he said, Ya ma'asar al-nisa, tasaddaqna walau bihali yukun. Give your glory. That's what the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said. And you are doing this, brothers and sisters. Look. You are given this in this dunya. Wallahi, you know, Khadiza radiallahu anha. Allah is rewarding her a house in Jannah. A house in Jannah. And Jibreel alayhi salam told that to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You ask, what did she do in her life? She died under seed. She did not see the glory of Islam. But because she stood up with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. This is why you see the reward. Of Khadija radiallahu anha, Aisha radiallahu anha. Is that Allah khairan? Allah bless you. Keep it coming, Ya Khwana. Keep it coming. Wallahi, whatever you give in this life, it is nothing compared to what Allah is going to give it back to you, inshallah, in multiple and folds, inshallah, bi idni ta'ala. Yalla, Ya Khwana. Bismillah. Huh. I know we have we have to go and pray Isha, but I'm telling you, look, we can, inshallah, pray Isha anytime. But this moment right now, because the angels are sitting around us right now watching and writing the names of those who are giving donations alhamdulillah rabbil alameen when a child of, of adam dies their, their their books will be closed their books will be closed except from three sources sadaqa jariya a continuous charity or a knowledge that people will benefit from or a, a, a righteous child will pray for them imagine all of that in the masjid so you will never go away, you know, that far from the from the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Someone will say, I want to give 10,000 at least, Ya Khwan. How many we have for 10,000? How many of you? How many of the brothers? How many of the sisters to give 10,000? Each, Ya Khwan, 10,000. Any? How many? We have five. How many can give 5,000? 5, 5,000. Each family give the 5,000, inshallah. Sisters, mashallah, takbir! Allah Akbar. 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 I met a pledge. Uh, Dr. Saab came up to me. And he, I, call, I, I pointed at him earlier. And he was quiet. 
And he came up to me and he gave me hundred thousand dollars. Mashallah, the most high, the Prophet told us, What is better than house in Jannah? Allah, nothing. Nothing. And you know, Shaykh Ahmad Safar, may Allah be pleased with him, said one time, He said, When Allah build you a house in Jannah, you think He will take you somewhere else? He will not take you somewhere else. So you want to have a lot of houses in Jannah, inshallah. Not only in this life, but in Jannah, inshallah. How many we have for 5,000? We have only sister. Can you imagine? Can I have a piece of brother to match a sister right here for 5,000? Anyone, inshallah. Anyone. Anyone to give that, inshallah, bi Anyone. What is the total? Anyone was the total right now? MashaAllah. Okay, brothers and sisters, you can text 91999 to donate to IGD directly. Not 911, okay? Yeah, they may have one. 91999. You can text. Your donation. Uh, brothers and sisters, I know Dr. Malik is giving 100,000. Everyone that is giving, may Allah put their wealth. Amen. Amen. May Allah multiply 100 times. Amen. May Allah finish this project soon. Amen. May Allah make your children righteous, pious, and successful. Amen. Amen. We have two chips. We have two ten thousand dollars. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Break that down, guys. Two ten thousand dollars. Takbir. Allah Akbar. One is done online. One is in my hand. May Allah put barakah in their life, in their wealth, in their health. Amen. Keep them very, keep them happy. Amen. 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 May Allah bless them. Amen. May Allah bless their in-laws. Amen. May Allah make their in-laws nice. Amen. Sass. Amen. I have here, I have uh, 
member of your community. Founding Kata. member. Kata. 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 Mashallah, we have two thousand dollars, doctor, per vase. Mashallah, after sister Tahima, Mashallah, Niyad, Mashallah, Jazakallah khair, two thousand dollars, takbir. Mashallah, Mashallah, Basima, Mashallah, Rafiq, we have one thousand dollars, Jazakallah khair. Allah bless you, Ya Rabb al Alameen. Allah bless you, Ya Rabb al Alameen. Brothers and sisters, we have this message or the sajid was meant for what? was meant to protect ourselves, protect our children, protect our community, protect our families. That's exactly why. We have only 10 minutes, the brother gave me 10 minutes, so we can go and for, for go for the salah, inshallah. So do we have any more, inshallah, for 5,000? Your brothers, if sisters, if you did not give yet, please do, do not hold back. Do not hold back. I, look, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have written your name among al musaddiqina wal musaddiqat Don't hold back. Even say, you know what? I don't have 5,000. I have 1,000. I have 500. Look, just put it down and write it. And remember, you are in Ramadan. Man adda fihi khistam bisal al-khayr. Ka'annama adda fihi fariba. Imagine. And imagine, ya Fuanna, when you are giving in Ramadan, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala multiply it for you so many times, subhanAllah. So many times. We have we have a granddaughter uh, of Dr. Akbar who is giving one thousand dollars. Fatima Akbar. Fatima Akbar giving on behalf of our grandparents. I think some of the sisters don't want me to say the name. If, if they don't want me to say the name, it's very anonymous on the flesh. This is Fatima Akbar, one thousand dollars that we no one bless her, no one bless her parents, grandparents, and the enemy. We have fifteen hundred dollars, mashallah, from Granada and LLC. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give you risk in your in your in your business, Ya Rabbi Alameen. Say Ameen. Ameen, Ya Rabbi Ameen. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Brothers and sisters, you know, subhanAllah, you know, we look at we look at the masjid. We look at the beauty of the masjid. Wallahi, I, I visited some communities, they just started, just started having a house, but we started back in 1978. They just started the house. And say, yeah, please pray for us. Inshallah, we will have a big masjid. I said, Inshallah, you will have a big masjid. But it takes commitment. It takes truthfulness and to be truthful with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Remember, when we are spending, we are not spending from our money. We are spending from the money of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah has given us the choice, the, the chance to spend, Inshallah. Jamal Khan, $10,000. Jamal Khan, $10,000. Takbir! 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 Allahumma atimu fitan khalafin, ya Rabbi Alameen. Kulu ameen. Ameen, ya Rabbi Alameen. Ameen, ya Rabbi Alameen. Jazakallah khairan. This is Dr. Parvez Akhtar, $2,000. MashaAllah, Dr. Parvez Akhtar, MashaAllah, $2,000. Takbir! I think that's another check, by the way. You had a check before that even. MashaAllah. You know, the, the upgrade, mashallah. I love the upgrades, the upgrade. Ya inshallah. 
افتخار ما شاء الله ان سيستر اوزما ميرزا ما شاء الله 2000 دولار تكبير جزاك الله خير لوك اي انديرستاند هي وسي اي دونت هاف 5000 اي دونت هاف 4000 لوك بدر اند سيسترز الله نوز وي هاف الله نوز وي هاف ابراهيم ابو بكر رضي الله عنه جيف اول هيز ماني عمر جيف هاف اوف هيز ماني اي انديرستاند وي اول هاف اور كاباسيتي But brothers and sisters, remember, whatever you give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply it for you in so many times, inshallah, bi'ni ta'ala. MashaAllah, $1,000, takbir! MashaAllah. Basima, we're going to announce that. We're going to announce that. We're going to announce that, inshallah. Jazakumullah khairan, ya akhwan. Jazakumullah khairan. Remember, brothers and sisters, how many times people say Bismillah? How many times did they fatiha? How many times did they do sujood? How many times did they rukur? How many times? I want to just I want to just tell you this story that happened to me when I was in Lebanon. Okay, I went I went to a city called Zbeil. This Zbeil area is actually a Christian town, but it has a masjid in the middle of it. Okay, so when we went to the masjid and I said, "Why there is a masjid here in the middle of a Christian town?" Okay, and I looked and I asked the muaddin, and the muaddin pointed me at a, a, a like a, a plaque on the wall, and I read that the plaque. Guess what? This plaque was, this masjid was built in 1189. 1189. Guess what? It says on it, by the order of, by the order of Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi. Okay? He gave the order to build that masjid in that town, in that area. Imagine people will be praying for it in it for like almost 800 years. Imagine the reward. That be that the Salah al-Din al-Ayyubi rahimahu Allah is getting because of that. And guess what? When we do that, the same thing Allah subhanahu wa taala has given you multiples. The Akwana. Before we leave tonight, and by the way, this is not the end of it. We still have the doors still open till the person will leave this life. Remember, do not leave without giving something in your life. And when you are alive, when you are healthy, when you, Allah subhanahu wa taala have given you the chance to live another time. To see Ramadan, we say, "Allahumma bilna Ramadan." Do not hold back, ya Khwan. So give as much as you can. Take this card with you. Give it to those who are in your WhatsApp. You have WhatsApp group. Send them. Tell them. Send me your hundred dollar, two hundred dollar. Send them the link for that. Inshallah, bi nidaala. You know, send the QR. So this way, you will get the reward. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Afa adalu al khairi kafaile." When you guys somebody do something good, you will get the reward. Inshallah, bi nidaala. We will make dua and we will make Inshallah for the salah. Allahumma qfir lana wa rhamna wa anna wa afu anna wa taqabbal minna inna kant al-sami'u al-alim wa tub alayna ya maulana inna kant al-tawab al-rahim. Allahumma la tud alana fi maqamina hadha dhamman illa ghafarta wa la dhaynan illa qadayta wa la maridan illa shafayta wa la mayitan illa rahimta wa la dhalan illa hadayta wa la asiran illa yassarta wa la asiran illa fakirta asra. اللهم تقبل منا صيامنا وصلاتنا وركوعنا وسجودنا ولا تضرب بهم يوم القيامة وجوهنا برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين سبحانك اللهم وبحمدك نشهد أن لا إله إلا أنت نستغفرك ونتوب إليك والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصلوا بالحق وتواصلوا بالصبر and the final words for brother MC ما شاء الله جزاك الله خير. Thank you very much for your time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bless you for taking time away from your family to spend uh, the year with us to raise money. We're going to go ahead and let everybody out. And, uh, the issue of Allah is going to start. I do want to remind everyone about the calligraphy scrolls here on the side. If you are interested in purchasing them, if you want to make a bid, please talk to Brother Shahid over here, our secretary. And then don't forget to take the water bottles. They're on the table there for you.
أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله أشهد أن محمدا رسول الله حي على الصلاة Hi, I'm falling. 